Hey, what is up everyone? This is Private Mittens and I'm going to be doing my pickup video for today, um, for October 2017. Um, I only got a few items, uh, sorry about that, but there's a few things I was waiting on, haven't arrived yet from overseas. Um, so I'll explain a few things after I do the pickup, just I don't want to address more or less. So uh, up first we have the only miscellaneous title, a Pikachu mug with a glare, sorry about the glare. It's gold with different poses from Pikachu, obviously from Pokemon. But, um, that cost me 15 from EB. It's actually, I really like the, I'm not really a fan of Pikachu, but I really did like the mug. So, yeah, it's 15. Um, this arrived today, so I was actually able to put this in the video. Uh, Saran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. Uh, I didn't even know this was out on disc until a friend of mine, Blue Dragon Akira, actually told me, so I imported this from the UK. Um, yeah, it's a third person shooter with Itchy in it, so yeah, never change Japan, never change. This cost me $69. Um, the last, yeah, that that's really all I have. The last thing I have coming up is I bought... Gran Turismo Sport. Um, I will do a review for this. I've almost put enough hours into it to really give a good thought on it. Um, this cost me sixty nine. If I had bought it on its, you know, just a game, but I got a bundle for one hundred and twenty. I got this and the Gran Turismo controller. Now it says at the top ninety nine dollars. That's if you buy it separately. I got this and the game for 120 in a bundle. I don't know if I'll ever open the controller because... I don't know, I just don't really... I If I'm going to play co-op with someone, I usually... We just bring controllers to each other's houses kind of thing. But, uh... Yeah. 120 for that and Gran Turismo. So, as I said, I'll do a review for Gran Turismo very soon. Um, so yeah... That's all I got this month, guys. Really sorry about that, but obviously I said I was waiting on a few games, which you'll see next month for sure. Um, the other things I want to bring up is the reason I didn't do a video on Visceral Games being closed down by EA is the fact that EA's done this to me before. They did it with Westwood Studios, they did it with Pandemic, and Jim Sterling even, like, I think we can all agree Jim Sterling saw this coming first, and he was right. And he's right about Bioware going to be in the next one. I'm pretty sure about that as well. But uh, that's the visceral thing. I didn't really want to chuck my two cents into it. Um, also, I watched the Paris game show. Um, be honest, God of War looks amazing, but we all knew that was coming. I was sort of disappointed with The Last of Us, what we were shown. I mean, hopefully the game turns out good. It should anyway, but yeah. Um, then we had the, uh, Detroit Beyond Human, I think it's called, the Detroit game by Quantum Dream. Looks amazing. I really am looking forward to playing that. Um, we saw a few other games here and there, but the talk of the show was the Sucker Punch game. The Japanese one that looks a bit like Animusha mixed with, uh, Tenchu series. That was amazing looking, and I really am looking forward to that. That's definitely a day one buy. Anything Sucker Punch makes is a day one for me. They've never let me down before. So, yeah. There's a few other games, but... They were just like Monster Hunter and, you know... Call of Duty trailer and that. Which we knew were coming anyway, but... Anyhow. That's my pickup video. Slash little talk. Sorry that it's really short. I have a Pokemon TCG battle... Actually recorded, but the quality's a bit shit. Um, if you want to see it, I'll upload it anyway, just, you, you can see it just for the laugh, just how easily I beat my cousin, he got really fucking salty, but, uh, yeah, anyhow, thanks for watching guys, this is Private Mittens, and stay tuned for next month's pickup, it will be better, I promise, take care.